Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, this is going to be a short video. We, um, we were out later today. My husband wanted to go to a car show and while we were out, um, we, we went ahead and ate out, you know, when we do stuff like that, we do and whatever I ate is not sitting well. So, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm going straight to bed and hopefully I can get over this before morning or I'm calling out which I don't like to do uh, and because of that I'm only gonna be able to show one box and I didn't finish it um, yeah sorry uh, if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you stick around a spell if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos thumbs up likes are always appreciated and any questions or comments please leave them down below Sorry if I'm short of breath. I just, like I said, I'm not feeling um, too great. Um, so I had promised you guys a demo. Well, not a demo, but a project share on um, this die set, which is the um, Tonic Studios You've Got Mail and the uh, Happy Mail die set. I, I didn't get to this one. Um, I was going to, and like I said, I've just not been feeling so great today. Um, but I did share a sneak of this on the community page last night. And um, I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, but I'm, I want to, I think the next, and this is still, I still... Sorry, I can't concentrate. Um, this is a this was kind of like a test run on the quote unquote the the vintage U.S. postal, and I think it's really cute. But I have to do some working with the dies because I want to do pop up panels if that makes sense. Like they're dimensional. Um, I also haven't attached the latch here so that this will like. I can put a cute ribbon and, and tie it shut. Um, and I didn't get to the bling. Um, I did, I don't know if you can see that. The mail is, so it comes with mail and I haven't put everything back on the sheet yet. And this one I believe says post which I think is really cute. I, I think in the UK they go by post and here in the US we say mail, uh, whichever. I like them both. But um, this one here, because I didn't really do anything dimensional on this particular first round, I cut the mail out five times and I layered them so that it, it was, you know, th you can see it there, thick, and kind of popped off the box a little bit. Um, and I think I'll probably, when I'm feeling better, I'm probably going to go back over it with some liquid glass. Or um, maybe next time what I'll do is I'll take the top piece and... Um, press it in like some embossing ink and do a clear embossing powder over it so it's like glossy. Um, but I, I am going to do the liquid glass on this so it has a, a shiny look to it. It's all tonic paper. The blue isn't as dark. I wanted a really dark blue but I, I couldn't find it at the moment. So I did a double shade. Um, which I still think turned out really nice, but like I said, I still have to attach, there's a piece that goes here that this latches through and holds the lid down. And then I didn't get to making the, the card that goes with it and you can stick that inside and it can hold a gift card if you want it to, or you can make a little, a little card to stick in it. But, um... I think my first go around turned out pretty good. Um, I will say if you have this set, 
um, you have to, this piece here, um, basically only cuts out a design into the back. And so if you want to layer, um, like I did here, you, what I did was, I took this, I don't know if you can see it, that really pretty, I love the print on this, but I took this die and I just kind of put it down low so I'm not waste. I don't, I don't like to waste paper. I'm really, um, frugal that way. I mean, you would, you wouldn't think so, but I like to stretch my cardstock out. Um, and I try to use every piece that I can. Um, but so I took washi tape, I put it down low and I, I used just a little piece. Actually what I did was I took like a wider piece that was wide enough for this whole die. Um, and I just put it to the edge. I put the, um, the detailed die in, of course spaced it out, used my washi to um, anchor everything down, and then I ran it through um, so that I didn't waste any extra paper. Um, and the other reason why I, was, I did that is because this is an embossed paper, when you run it through a die machine, it actually, I don't know if you can see it, it kind of presses the, presses the die or the, the pattern. So it's not, I'm sorry, it's not as noticeable because um, I used that same paper for the, the white accents, um, but it really diminishes the, the embossed pattern that's on the paper. So I try not to run embossed papers through a dye machine too much because I don't want to lose the pattern which is the whole purpose of getting it um, but I did like because this has like a pearlescent sheen to it so I did like how you can kind of see that pop against the blue and um, the textured cardstock um, I'm contemplating doing a reverse mailbox uh, later in this one, like maybe make this red, this um, maybe do the top in blue or in white and the detail in blue. I don't know yet, but uh, I really do love how this one is going so far. It was really easy to assemble. There's not, there's not a lot of die cutting. It's more um, making sure that you've got your, your, um, you've got your main pieces. And then you've got your, you know, like your little detail dies. And so you just got to make sure you've got those um, matched so that you have the border that you want um, when you're putting through, you know, putting it through the machine. <clears throat> and to me, that was the, took the most work, I guess. But um, this is the first one so far. Um, I'm hoping next weekend to have this one finished. Like I said, I want to do a reverse, like a reverse in the colors on this and, you know, and finish this one. And then, um, I want to try the two different versions on here. Um, if you can see the panels on this are raised, that's what I want to do on this one. So the next one I do, I'm going to do raised panels. Uh, but I thought this is still really cute so far. Um, y'all, sorry, I don't have any energy. I'm not feeling good right now. Um, but anywho, this is a short video. Um, I wanted to share with you where I was. Um, this was a really easy die set to work with, which I liked. Uh, but like I said, you, you have to finagle around with your detail dies along with your, like your panel dies. So, um... That takes a little bit of, you know, figuring out how you want it. Um, and then just so you know, this panel here, the cutout, you've only got this one die, all right? So when you cut this out, is it the same? Hold on. 
Well, I messed up. So you've only got this one, and so you cut this one out twice, and then you just flip the the cardstock so it goes from this um, angle to this angle. And for some reason, I did the same thing with this. And so if you look, you've got like an embossed cut here, but you can see the sharp edged cut there. I don't know if you can see it. I it, I I see it because I know I did it. But I wasn't paying attention that we have opposites. So the next one will be done right. And then I think that's the only one that you have to worry about is that one here. You just cut this piece out twice. So, and as you can see, and, and if you're new to die cutting, don't stress about it too much. This die here is already bending. Um, because of the pressure on my machine. So it still runs fine. Um, I might suggest like running it backwards, like instead of the die cutting down, flip it over so that when it runs through the machine, it kind of flattens back out. But I, I wouldn't, I would just do that to kind of flatten it out, not actually cut something. But that's me. Um, everybody, every machine is different, so you just have to uh, pay attention to your machine, what its quirks are. Um, you, get, you know, again, um, some of them don't have as much pressure, some have a lot. But anyway, so um, that's where I'm at. Um, I didn't know we were going to be gone so long today. I, we did have a good time until I just started not feeling so great. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night remember it is daylight savings so make sure you set your clock back if you haven't already and with that i love you guys to pieces as always happy crafting Bye bye